Please welcome the graduating class of 2016.
Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to begin our commencement ceremony by recognizing the alumni from Sacramento State that are here with us today. And if you're able to stand, please stand and remain standing. Will the remainder of the audience please stand and remain standing for the singing of our alma mater, All Hail, and our national anthem to be performed today by Sacramento State student Beatrice Figueroa and accompanied by the Sacramento State Brass Ensemble. Thank you. Thank you. You may be seated, please. Thank you. Please, let us welcome to the podium Dr. Lorenzo M. Smith, Dean of the College of Engineering and Computer Science. Dr. Smith. Thank you, Chief Marshall Bowie. Welcome to the Spring 2016 Commencement for the College of Engineering and Computer Science. This is an important day for graduates, their families, and friends. I ask that, while celebrating, everyone observe the appropriate decorum and show respect to fellow graduates and members of the audience. Please turn off your cell phones and remain in your seats until all students have been recognized. Let us make this a special day for everyone. Around 600 BC, a child was born. 
in the pre-classical Greek period society. He was for a time a slave, and there were questions about this person's ethnicity, his accomplishments, and circumstances of his death. And scattered historical references suggest that this person had the gift of storytelling. And he probably didn't realize that it was a special gift that he had. And he probably told a lot of stories out of the kindness of his heart. And over the years, a collection of these stories were gathered and attributed to this person. This person's name, of course, is Aesop. And the collection of fables is called Aesop's Fables. And graduates, there are so many takeaways that we can draw from the life of Aesop and his fables. One of the takeaways that I get from his life is that small good deeds, the accumulation of those, make a big difference. Just like Aesop, he introduced these small little stories, probably didn't think much of it, but the accumulation of those stories have been a blessing to millions of people long after he is gone. Think about the small accomplishments of the people who got you here to this stage. And I'm first going to focus on the parents. Just imagine the parents, and I know that they can remember 15 some years ago, they sat you in their lap most likely and they read a book to you, perhaps Aesop's Fables. Maybe worked with you on, with Lego toys and Tinker toys. All those little things, small things. And even though you are here because of your accomplishments and your hard work, you are also here because of the parents who did those small little things for you. And so I'd like to recognize them by giving them applause for that. But about you graduates, all the number of small, wonderful things that you have introduced within our College of Engineering and Computer Science. I think of the small good deeds from outstanding graduates, such as Christopher Potts of Mechanical Engineering, Wyatt Arnold of Civil Engineering, Daryl Nixon of Computer Science, Angelica Figueroa of Construction Management, Juan Antonio Rodriguez Heredia of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, and Robert Centeno of Computer Engineering. So those students represent everyone here. And if I had time, I would mention everyone. You all know all the small, wonderful contributions that you've made that help not just you, but everyone else who is going to follow you. Aesop, his small deeds had a big impact on many people. I wonder what sort of small contributions you're going to have in your career, the type of contribution that's going to have a major impact on everyone following, perhaps, when, when you're finished with your career. So as you ponder upon that question, I want to share with you one of Aesop's fables. It happened that a dog found a piece of meat and was carrying it home in his mouth. Now on his way home, he had to cross a bridge lying across a running river. As the dog crossed, he looked down and saw his own shadow reflected in the water beneath. Thinking it was another dog with another piece of meat, he made up his mind to grab that piece of meat. And so he made, he made a quick snap at that piece of meat. And he, as he opened his mouth, he lost the piece of meat that was in his mouth, never to be found again. This dog had a treasure in his grasp. And I suggest to you that you now have a treasure in your grasp. You have the accomplishment of a bachelor's or master's degree. You have the excitement of today. And I want to say, don't let all of your aspirations and you should have them, all of your giant goals. Don't let that rob you of how happy you need to be right now. This is a big deal. And so I applaud you for all of your efforts. Don't lose that enthusiasm. Don't lose that excitement for what you've accomplished. So as you enter the next phase of your life, I offer two words of wisdom connected from a former slave born around 600 BC. 
The first thing is this, and think about this as you enter your, your job. Know that seemingly small things, small good things, really do matter. People are paying attention. They make a big difference. Being positive and appreciative of what you have is, will help you succeed in your career. I want to thank you for all of your hard work, and I congratulate you on this wonderful day. I now have the privilege of introducing the individual seated on the platform. To my left, President of California State University, Sacramento, Robert S. Nelson. Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Ming Tung Mike Lee. Vice President for Student Affairs, Ed Mills. Vice President and Chief Information Officer, Larry Gilbert. Vice President for Human Resources, Christine Lovely. Vice President for Public Affairs and Advocacy, Phil Garcia. Executive Director, University Initiatives and Student Success, Jim Dragna. <laughs> Dean of the University Library, Amy Kautzman. <laughs> Alumni Association Representative, Marco Rodriguez. <laughs> Chief Marshal, Sylvester Bowie. Also on my right, Interim Associate Dean of the College of Engineering and Computer Science, Kayvon Shafizadeh. And one of our readers, Professor Warren Smith. And our other reader, Professor Pritham Kumar. I would also like to recognize some additional faculty members. I'd also like to recognize Chair of Civil Engineering Department, Professor Ben Fell. <laughs> Program Coordinator of Computer Engineering, Nick Ferrugi. <laughs> Chair of Computer Science, Professor Sui Zhang. Chair of Construction Management, Professor Mike Anderson. <laughs> Chair of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Professor Thomas Matthews. <laughs> and Chair of Mechanical Engineering, Professor Susan Hall. I would now like to invite Marco Rodriguez, to a graduate of the class of 1991 and a representative of the Alumni Association, to the podium. Hello, graduates. On behalf of the Sacramento State Alumni Association, I am extremely proud to offer my congratulations on your graduation. Today, you are joining a proud and prestigious family of more than 224,000 Sacramento State alumni. Our graduates are succeeding in communities around Sacramento and around the world. They are problem solvers, entrepreneurs, creative thinkers, and innovative leaders. During my career and as a volunteer, I have seen the success of our alumni firsthand. I have watched them grow and excel in their professional and service endeavors. 
So I have no doubt that you have the bright futures ahead of you. As those futures unfold, I hope that you will continue to be active members of the Hornet family for life. The Alumni Association stands ready to help you stay connected and get involved. Network with your fellow alumni. Whether you'd like to visit campus, attend an event, access the alumni directory as you pursue, pursue the first job or your next job, or simply want to connect with alumni and their association. The Alumni Association encourages you to maintain your Hornet roots and to be proud of your connections to Sacramento State. So on behalf of the Alumni Association, I encourage you to live your dreams, explore, and change the world. Congratulations, class of 2016. It is now my privilege to introduce the president of the Sacramento State University, Dr. Robert S. Nelson. Thank you, Marco. Welcome. Welcome, Hornet Nation. Today, is a day of celebration. Today we celebrate the graduation of, listen to this number, it's impressive, 4,939 students. 4,939 Hornets. We have a very simple mission at Sac State a mission that is very important in what we're trying to do. As California's capital university, we transform lives by preparing students for leadership, service, and success. Leadership, service, and success. Before I was a president, I was a writer. And I believe in stories. I believe that stories tell us who we are. I want to tell you three stories, three stories of three students at this university that are graduating this semester so that you can get a glimpse at the soul of our university. The first story is the story of Nicole Hunter. Nicole has a big heart, but life has often gotten in the way of that heart. An African-American student with so many odds stacked against her, she started working at the age of 15. She's from Stockton, and in her own words, I come from everything that says that I am not supposed to graduate or be successful. Her mother was a single mother. Her sister was a teenage mother at age 14. Nicole had to go to work. And she would take one or two classes every semester, dreaming of the day when she could graduate from Sac State. Now, she's a divorced mother with two children and one with special needs. So, she took her classes every Friday and Saturday. And the only time she could take them was at night. When I asked her to come over to talk to me, as Christopher Potts came over and talked to me, she got lost. She was late by 30 minutes because she had never been on our campus during the day, only on weekends at night. Today, after 22 years, she is graduating.
She has a full-time job at CalPERS, and she's going to work that job. But what's she going to do with her Fridays and Saturdays? Party? <laughs> you may. She's not. She's going to work with the homeless and helping on a homeless project. <laughs> Service, success, leadership. Our students succeed when everybody says they shouldn't be able to. The next story, Maricela Cortez. Maricela was born in Guanajuato, Mexico. Her parents came to the United States to work in the fields. And she cried when she told me the story of growing up in migrant camps, living in cement block houses that were hot with no air conditioning, nothing, with a father who was an alcoholic and a drug addict, with a family that didn't believe in education, believed in hard work. Maricela left that family and came up here to Sacramento State to go to college. She came with a friend. He got cancer. She had to take care of him for a year. But she's graduating, graduating summa cum laude with a degree in speech pathology. And how good is she? Her parents don't even know she's here because she had to do it on her own. How good is she? She was chosen as one of 20 females to get a full ride scholarship this summer to go to Indiana to learn how to be a graduate student so that she can go to any graduate school in the nation. One of 20. I'd say that's pretty good success. But there's something about her, and I hope you see this in each one of the students. Just like Christopher Potts built that machine and gave back, well, she helped give away 1,400 books to children this year so that they could learn to read. <laughs> Leadership. That's leadership, and that's service, and that's success. Finally, the story of the President's Medal's winner, Payam Pojet. He's a Sufi student from Folsom and a transfer from Los Rios Community College. At age eight, he was declared a genius the school system prepared to put him in gifted and talented and move him on very quickly. But then suddenly, he had abnormal brain activity. And over the next few months, he had 72 grand mal seizures. And he thought his name was Andrew. And for years, he went in and out of the hospital. But he was able to graduate high school in two years. And he went to Los Rios, and he came here, and he got help from our student services with disabilities. Payam, it takes three hours for him 
to take and write a paper that takes you one hour. Before he takes a test, he walks our campus for two hours, breathing in the air and the oxygen that our 3,500 trees generate. And then he goes and takes that test and he nails it. And he's got a 3.9 GPA. I tell his story because his story has something to do about computer science. He is in MIS. He put together the MISA Club, which puts computer scientists and management information system students in the same room, in the same club. Interdisciplinary. Why? Because he knows that you're going to have to work together someday. He coaches and referees soccer. But faculty, this is why I chose him. What does he want to become? What does he want to do? He wants to be a faculty member at Sacramento State. He wants to give back. He wants to be you. Our students are amazing. Your stories, as the dean said, are amazing. And they amaze me every day. I could tell other stories of other students. We have a student who has just rolled out the first company from our Center for Entrepreneurship, John Meidinger. It's a great great company, it's a web-based company, he's going to make millions off of it. It's called Activity Jungle. It lets every mom go online and find out where every dance class or every soccer club or every gymnastics or every math tutoring is available. There's so many stories, so many great stories because we really are a university of leadership, success, and service. I'll show you how successful we are. How many of you out here are the first to ge generation, the first in your family to graduate? Please stand up. That is success. That is transforming this country. Ha, there's another service. Are there any veterans out there that are graduating? If you would please stand and be recognized so that we may salute you. If there are veterans in the audience, please rise so we may salute you too. Thank you for your service. I know that a lot of times when you were struggling and you had that exam or all of you had to pay, pass calculus. When you were going through and working on it, it was hard. You felt alone, but you were never alone. There was always your parents, your spouses, your children, los abuelos y las abuelitas, the grandparents, there were people there for you, your friends. The dean acknowledged the parents, but today should be a day of gratitude. It's a new beginning, sure, but I think of it as a day of gratitude. Parents, would you please stand so that your sons and daughters may thank you.
You heard I love you, didn't you? But it takes more than just parents. It also takes grandparents. Will the grandparents please rise and be thanked, or at least wave your hands? <laughs> Students, some of you had an advantage over the others out there. Some of you had an individual who was putting hubby through. Or some of you had an individual that was helping mom go to school. The spouses and partners have sacrificed a lot, but they love you just as much, and it's time to recognize and thank them. Will the spouses and partners, the husbands and wives, Please stand and be recognized and thanked. And blow those kisses. Finally, there's this group that had the, to sacrifice the most. They didn't get the cookie at night. They didn't get the bedtime story. They often got a hug late at night after mom and dad came home from the library. There were Saturdays when they wanted to go play and there was a paper to write or a problem to solve. Would the sons and daughters please stand or please hold them up high if they're small so that we can thank them? And finally, there's a special group to thank. It's a group that made you mad. It's a group that prodded you. It's a group that you cursed. It's a group that you got in your car and hit the dashboard. It's a group that cared about you and your education cared deeply and truly loved you and wanted to see you succeed against all odds and with all odds. Will you please salute the faculty as they rise and let's thank them for what they've done. Thank you for your high standards. Thank you for the quality of the education that you are providing for our students. Thank you for caring. Today is a proud day, a day of happiness and a day to salute and thank our faculty, our family, everyone who is here. Today is the day when you can truly say, I am made at Sac State. And Tucker, I know you're out there. Stand up. Okay, you know what this is? And then you know what this is? Help me lead them, okay? This is, Sac State is number one, and this is Stingers Up. So ready? Everybody stand. Thank you, President Nelson and Marco Rodriguez. You did the driving, and I think of the faculty as the engine 
that makes that possible. But one more analogy, the crankshaft, the pistons, we can think of the staff for that. And I'd like to recognize the staff for all of their hard work. If you would please stand and uh, for recognition. Thank you. Thank you for all you do. Each year, the university bestows scholastic honors upon those undergraduate candidates whose academic excellence has consistently been recognized by the faculty. We have designated in our program those candidates who have received special recognition for high scholastic achievement. May I now present them to you. Will the undergraduates graduating cum laude with a grade point average between 3.50 and 3.74, please stand or wave to be recognized. Thank you. Will the undergraduates graduating magna cum laude with a grade point average between 3.75 and 3.89, please stand or wave to be recognized. Thank you, thank you. Now the third group of undergraduates is graduating summa cum laude. This means highest praise in Latin. It is reserved for students with the very highest grades, those who have a grade point average between 3.90 and 4.0. Will the undergraduates graduating summa cum laude please stand or wave to be recognized? Outstanding, thank you. Each year, several national scholastic honor societies invite for membership those undergraduate students on this campus who have displayed exceptional academic ability throughout their studies. Will the undergraduates selected for membership in an honor society please stand or wave to be recognized? Thank you. I commend all of you for your accomplishments. I would now like to present the college's Dean's Award for 2015-16. The award recipient is recognized for outstanding accomplishments in academic, campus, and community service. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to announce that we are presenting the 2015 16 Dean's Award to Mr. Christopher Potts from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Please stand, Christopher, and be recognized. Thank you. At this point, we move to the part of the program that officially recognizes the master's degree recipients. As master's candidates enter the arena this afternoon, you may have noticed that they wear an extra piece of regalia. This is the master's hood and is part of the academic regalia. The academic costume is important to us for it signifies membership in the academy, the community of scholars. Master's degree holders wear a mortarboard, a black gown with oblong sleeves, open at the wrist and the hood. It is the hood that tells the story. The hood symbolizes much hard work. It also confers special status. Now, while no other area, no area of uh, scholarship is ever truly conquered, master candidates, you have reached a level of mastery 
that makes you a member of the academic community. We welcome you, and I hope that your hood brings you great pride. Congratulations, Masters candidates. <laughs> Masters degree candidates, please rise. Faculty Marshall, please escort the master's degree candidates to the stage for presentation. Paul S. Brecker. E. Tak Lim. Kathy Applebaum. Ben White. Jakiria Jekenifa Brown. Avani Rajapati, Sweta Halde, Suvarna Mahale, Sujata Anant Patel, Sonia Chen Sun. Rishika Prasad Akshat, Disha Shah, Prachi Dagli, Sarika Adi, Divya Banu Shashadara, Ian Stephenson, Megar Ganeshwar, Akshay Binge, Vishal Devadia, Pritika Ramabhadran, Ajinkya Doble, Kaustub Upadhyay. Atharva Puranik, Radif Lildad Haq, Shoaib Ahmad Qadri Mohamed Shoheb, Ahmed Abasi, Mohamed Parvez, Swapnil Vankade, Kartik Rajavel, Matteya Durey, Ankur Chaudhary, Harpreet Singh, Vailun Lee, Shahab Erika Razik, Amir Saman Makzani, Omar Ahmad Itani, 
Ferhas Ahmed Alanazi. John Yang. Daryl Santos. Aaron Crandall. Brett Leary. Swarna Gopalan. Minolini Nityanandam. Subhashini Shekharan. Pooja Shinde. Shruti Itigi Math. Medel Uskatligi. Michael Bear. John Marco Saragad Mofaret. William Han. Anna Cloninger. Monal Gia. Meet Sudani. Tejas Bhatt. Venus Patel. Vishal Shah. Juan Carlos Ariela. Yuki Wu. Alexander Chernish. Congratulations, master's graduates. And now, undergraduates, the Department of Civil Engineering. Cage Steele. Go. Chantel Garvin. Juan Teller. Khalil Meacham. Jaya Singh. Mike Babichinik. Brenda Perez. Armando Martinez. Stephen Repace. Jin Huang. Victor Colvard. Mustanser Chowdhury. Emily Green. Lindsay Utz. Jenna Peterson. Patrick Sanford. O'Shea Bennett. Michael Gonzalez. Ishmael Leon Garcia. Vadim Palashuk. Parker Johnson. Arsalan Goracholi. William Cope. Jose Diaz. Jeffrey Hogue. Derek Finnegan. Cameron Lancaster. Prasanna 
We get seen. Robert, Heather. Wyatt, Arnold. Andres, Guilin. Tatevic, Burakatsyan. Vicky Vidalis. Tanil Jotham. Ariana Alonso. Rigoberto Vasquez. Casey Engmark. Karosh Gazizada. And now the Department of Construction Management. Elizabeth Suarez. Angelica Liliana Figueroa. Dylan Raceline. Rahula Razakpur. Brandon Biagi Freeman. Miguel Sanchez. Lucas Morello. Teddy Hanford. Mark Zabel. Stephen Spites. Clifton Myers. John Jacob Sibo. Jose Opio Jr. Andre Zazuba. Alejandro Valencia. Nicholas Zame. Javier Alvarez. Gabriel Ivan Alvarez. Andres Carapia. Daniel Burton. Christopher Ortega. Scott Davis. Christian Rodriguez Rosas. Adam Lawrence Sanchez. Daniel Diaz. Ricardo Martinez. Jimmy Rodriguez. Troy Anderson. Jacob Gizdala. Nathan Decker. And now the Department of Computer Science. Austin Purcell. 
Andrew Meyer. Can Furugi. David Koritsky. Kyle Matiak. Kenneth Spence. Robert Wilk. William Kinderman. Justin Aquino. Daniel Bergstrom. Brian Doobie. Max Kondrashev. Cameron Colette. Daniel Baptista. Derek Irvin. Danny Nuyapan. Konstantin Polyashenko. Cody Maloney. Jordan Jensen. Matthew Belcher. Spencer Underbill. Connor Ellison. Oscar Solorzano. Alicia Straub. Carissa Wong. Lloyd Foreman. Chai Tao. David Grusenmeyer. Victor Melanick. Dennis Poon. Michael Smith. Cole Culler. Angel Hernandez. Edgar Morales. Ricardo Munez. Terry Rutaganira. John Paul Lay. Charlie Choi Tuch. Lynn Nguyen. Ratsame Maokumpu. And now, computer engineering. Josh and Jeet Singh Badwal. Leonardo Jacobo. Brandon Hopkins. Joshua Ryan Chadwick. Yakira Johnson. Salah Odeh. Timothy Michael Schmidt. Nathaniel William Johnson.
Sergey Viktorovich. Joseph Gonzalez. Roberto Centeno. Aaron Sotelo Sagun. Rohit Pandit. An Nguyen. Igor Pishtoy Alexandrovich. David Stark. Nolram Anse. Joseph Brennan. And now the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Matthew Goraspi. Jose Velez. Harpreet Sidhu. Zoeb Arshad. Daniel Zilbet. Daniel Slobod Yanyuk. Jason Wasogi. Eric. Carmi, Uth Sejo, Chena Saturn, Adrian Vidrio, Joseph Cunningham, Andrew Fong. Maxim Katkonov. Viktor Topov. Selman Martinez. Amardeep Bular. Nabin Subedi. Sohail Ahmad. Finan Mbe. Cecilio Vincent Miklat Jr. Christian Moya. Josefe Rodriguez. Anastasia Harasimiyav. King Win. True Fam. Derek Arnold. Sandra D. Isaac. Ryan. Langan, Rafael Leon, Ryan Wallace, Alan Lee, Kyle Garland, Alexandra Eva Solak. Nathaniel Smith. <laughs> Mohibda Hillman. Marcus Spain. Cindy Chow. Jonathan Tao. Juan 
Rodriguez Heredia. Jesse Ruth Graham. Kevin Hartman. Tomas Ortiz. Cole Pressler. Armando Fuentes. Christy Sihombing. Joseph Jocelyn. And now, mechanical engineering. Felipe Valdez. Elias Hernandez. Jose Prieto. Rodolfo Ortiz. Nestor Ramos. Elmer Zuniga. Paul Sykes. Stuart Looper. Dominic Lafazia. Javier Baca. Dan Bu Long. Michael Arts. Salvador Escobar. Jose Oreja. Cody Nolan. Andy Bustos. Rick Bose. Uh, Alyssa McCohen. John Williamson. Christopher Potts. Lucas Carthew. James Choi. David Lococo. Christopher Scott Lopez. Armando Barroso. Kyle Gorey. Michael Sandlin. Abigail Levin. Michael Miller. Brian Kolar. Andrew Azuedo. George Embry. Eric Baldoff. Christopher Ruffin. Michael Zazzo. Lucia Blundo. Aaron Usak. Andrew Giles. David Lee. Taylor Dupriest. Aaron Gibson. Jessica Presnitz. Jacob Spitz. Juan Martinez. Matthew Curtis. Benjamin Becker. 
Sean McTeer. Joy Lane. Sam Bowles. David Sherman. Corey Peters. William Gastelon. Jeffrey Jackson. Danielle Alexis Lara. John Richard Fitzgerald. Akshay Hemani. Marins Adome. Jimmy Zerachi. Colin Johnson. Matthew Eric Kovac. Taylor Madison. Kevin Smith. Tucker Caruso. Gabrielle Ortiz. Gabrielle Taylor. Renard Reyes. Roland Evseyev. Michael Salinas. Eric Keneally. Eduardo Melesio Trejo. Kyle Massey. Kanisha Bristow. Tyler Matthew Acosta. Robert Welsh. Carla Ibarra. James Roberto Ledesma. Logan Rivera. Victor Morales. Rafael Piper. Daniel Abbas Rizvi. Harrison Duong. Kevin Huang Lam. Jonathan Pinedo. Robert Rudd. Denicio Mazan. President Nelson, will you please join me at the podium? 
Mr. President, as Dean of the College of Engineering and Computer Science, it is my privilege to present these students who are assembled before you as candidates for the degrees under the requirement prescribed by the trustees of the California State University. These candidates are recognized by the faculty for their academic accomplishments and are recommended to receive their appropriate degrees. Will the candidates for master's degrees please rise and remain standing until the degrees are conferred? Candidates for the bachelor's degrees, please rise and remain standing until the degrees are conferred. Now it's about to happen. Candidates, for master's degrees and bachelor's degrees, you have heard the recommendation of the Dean of the College of Engineering and Computer Science of Sacramento State. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I do hereby confer upon each of you who have satisfied the requirements the appropriate master's and bachelor's degrees with all the honors, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereunto. Congratulations, you just graduated. Okay, if you could all be seated. We have two important things to do to end this ceremony. Ceremonies and graduation are filled with traditions. We wear robes that we wore when we taught in castles. We follow a mace as if we're marching into war. We wear hats. Well, some of us wear hats, and then there's the construction management people. <laughs> there are mortar boards that have special significance. And some of you have done some amazing things. I don't know what's spelled out over here, but something is. Electrical. Electrical. <laughs> well, there's one last tradition. Education truly is sacred. It can't be taken from you. And neither can Sac State. The last thing is to move your tassels, and don't do it yet because I want to explain why, is to move your tassels from the right side to the left side. There's a reason for that. Your heart is here. And when you move that tassel, you are moving Sacramento State into your heart forever. Yes, you're going to be a hornet forever. So with that, please move your tassel from the right to the left. I want to thank the Sacramento State Brass Ensemble and Beatrice for their music and their singing today. I want to thank everyone who has given up their Saturday to be here to work so that we could have this celebration. All of the staff, it's amazing that you're willing to do this. And I want to now, after the platform party has left, students, you get that one last final loving walk with the faculty.
follow them out, shake their hands, then go out, find your parents, find your loved ones, hug, celebrate, be safe, but party hard. Stingers up! <laughs>